Hello everyone. On behalf of uh, State Council Science of Science, Technology and Environment, uh, I would like to welcome all the viewers and especially uh, class ten, uh, students uh, on this online class. So I hope you will benefit a lot from this class. And for today, I would like uh, to deliver a lecture uh, on science, uh, which uh, the name of the chapter is uh, Magnetic Effect of Electric Current. So before moving to the main topic, I would like uh, to tell you one story, how magnet was discovered. It was, it was 2000 years ago. There's a Greek, there, is, there was a Greek shepherd who lived uh, in Macanesia, in Asia Minor, which is now called uh, Turkey. Uh, so this shepherd has a staff in which at one end of his staff was tipped an iron. So one day, while he was tending his sheep, waving uh, his staff, so he was surprised because he experienced that uh, his staff was pulled against towards one drop. So he has to apply his muscular force to pull that, uh, that staff away from that drop. So that drop was named as magnetite, which was named after the word magnesia. And a piece of it, and a piece of it, it rock is called a magnet. So, magnet was magnet was divided into two parts. First one is natural magnet, and the other one is artificial. Magnet. Example of natural magnet is magnet type. Example of this artificial are bar magnet horse shoe magnet and Sorry, magnetic compass. There are two, type, two types of magnet. First one is natural, and the second one is artificial. These are the ex examples of. This is the example of natural magnet, and these are example of artificial magnet. There are many. There are many. Uh, artificial, artificial magnet. For this class, I will mention these three magnets. So these are only the introduction of this uh, chapter. So moving forward, I will introduce a topic. This is called uh, electro. So, who discovered this phenomenon called magnetic set? First point, it was in the year 1820. There's one guy who discovered this phenomenon, phenomenon and his name is H.C. Austin. How he discovered electromagnetism. So let me first explain the word electromagnetism. So electro magnetic. As you can see, there is it is a combination of two words. One is electric city or or electric current and the other one is magnetic set what is magnetism let me break this thing magnetism 
is the force of attraction or repulsion that a magnet possesses right so in this and in this activity which all set uh, all set has performed he will show how electric current will, pro will produce a force of attraction or repulsion right so how was his activity work so he take a circuit consists of a battery this is a battery consists of a battery and a plug key this is a key and this is a battery and also consists a resistor so this is a resistor this is and in between in between this portion, he include this copper wire. This is a copper. This is a complete circuit. So, next, next thing, also equal a magnetic compass near this wire. And here we should know that. The pointer should point in a north, in a north south direction. As this, as you can see, this pointer was pointed in the north direction, and the other end of the pointer was, point, was pointing to the south direction. At first, there is no current here, right? So there is no deflection on the magnetic needle, right? So when the current is on, you close the key, and the current is on. So the current will flow and pass through this wire and pass through this wire what will we observe? we will not visualize the effect on this wire but the thing we, that we can see is on the magnetic compass what will happen to the mag magnetic compass? when the current is on this needle will show a deflection in this direction right so why this magnetic needle show a deflection this is because when the current is on and this current is passed through this wire and that current will produce a magnetic effect on this wire in which will show a deflection on this magnetic needle so that is why H. C. Orsted observed that this electric electric current and magnetic effect has a relation. So he discovered this phenomenon as electromagnetic magnetic signal. So next we are going to talk about magnet magnetic field and magnetic field lines. field and magnetic field lines so on moving toward uh, this topic let me discuss some properties of the magnet We discuss with the help of bar magnet, right? So first point: magnet always point in the north-south direction. How? Let me explain. Suppose this is a bar magnet. You tie with a rope 
in between this magnet. You hold this, you hold this magnet to this rope from this point and let it freely suspend it. After some time, you will see that this magnet, this magnet, this bar magnet will arrange themselves in this direction. In the north-south direction. So, magnet always point in north south direction when freely suspended right. second property as you can see, this one end was facing towards the geographic node. This is called the north pole. And the other end was facing to, towards, this, uh, towards the geographic south. And this is called the south pole. So magnet always have two poles. Magnet always have two Poles. North pole and south pole. Right? Another property like poles repel each. Other on light poles attract. So uh, light poles repel each other, and on light poles attract one another. So this is a bar magnet. As you can see, this is a green portion. We call it as north pole, and the red one. Is a soft pole, right? So I don't know magnet I bring. So when I bring two magnet of the same pole, what will you observe? You will, you will observe that these two magnet will repel each other, right? So like poles repel each other. In the same way, when you try to bring in the soft soft portion, right? These Two magnet will will repel each other. So light poles repel each other. Now for the case of unlike poles, take this first magnet. This is the north pole, and take another magnet and try to bring in. Uh, this is the south pole, right? As you bring uh, towards one another, you will see that these two magnets will attract one another. So unlike poles attract one another. So the last property of a magnet. Every magnet will, pos uh, will possess this property and that is magnetic field. How will you define a magnetic field? A magnetic field is the region where the force of attraction and repulsion of a magnet can be detected and that region is called a magnetic field. So mag magnetic field cannot be Visualize. It can be detected with the help of some at activity. So let me discuss one activity. Tracing or detecting uh, a magnetic field using a bar magnet. 
how we will perform this activity. So we take one bar magnet, take one bar magnet and place it over a wooden table. So this is the north pole and this is the south pole, right? So place it over a wooden table and on top and over this magnet, you cover with a white wood or a white paper. Next, you sprinkle iron fillings on, on top of this wood. These are the iron fillings, fillings. You sprinkle over the wood. What will you observe next? After some time, you will see that you will see that these iron fillings will align themselves in this manner. They will, they, they will align themselves in this manner. So, as you can see, these iron fillings will experience a force of attraction of this magnet. So this region is a magnetic field, right? So there is another activity uh, to trace uh, the magnetic, magnetic field lines with the help of a magnetic compass and a bar magnet. So let me move to, to another activity. So, they say a magnetic field line, magnetic field lines using magnetic compass. So, in this activity, you will perform with the help of magnetic, magnetic compass and bar magnet. So, take this bar magnet. This is a bar magnet. This is a bar magnet. Here is the north pole and here is the south pole. Right? So, on top of it, it you uh, cover with a white paper. So, under this, you mark point X. Right? So, you take a magnetic compass and put in this portion and make sure that one end will point towards this point and that pointer will point in this direction right this is magnet so this is also a magnet there will be attraction or repulsion of between the two magnet right so as you can see this pointer beyond this point you mark a point y over here so with the help of this same magnet, try to move this magnet on, uh, to this point. It will come this, at this point. And make sure that one point will point to this point Y and the other one and the other point you mark it as set. Right? Sorry. Set. You continue this process, you will see that. You continue this process until it reach the south pole. Right. So we try from this portion. You will you will experience the same thing only. This time, this sorry, you we'll see this kind of curve, right? You try in different in different position, you will obtain this kind of picture. You try try a different position. 
So this is the first one. Right? Huh? So this is the second one. Another position. Right? You try it. From here, you will see this portion. Right from here. Look at many, many, many lines. Right? You start from the north pole to the south pole. North pole to south pole. North pole to south pole. North pole to south pole. Right? So, this is how to trace a magnetic field lines with the help of magnetic compass and a part magnet. So next we will discuss the characteristics of magnetic fields and magnetic field lines. Okay, for today I will end up the class till here.